Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Lunak whose current price stands at the 0.0001649 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 1.08% and in this video I want to give you the short term and the long term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing my analysis on the edge of structures the Fibonacci and also the key areas of support and resistances and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chart but on the 4 hour chart by giving you a brief of what has been happening here on the Lunak chart so Lunak from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice impulsive movement in the formation of this idea to structure having a wave 5 taking us to an all time high at around the 0.000059 dollar mark in a movement that we can term now as a higher idea to have count 1 having seen the formation of this fractal wave to the upside and after seeing the formation of a higher idea to have count one whatever we expect next is a bit of a corrective structure over here in the formation of a higher edu to have count two and I believe that is what you have been seeing here on the Lunak chart and because the second wave uh, is a corrective wave and we also expect to see an ABC corrective structure we are also seeing such a structure right here having this as the wave A then a wave B then we continue pushing lower in the formation of that wave C taking us back to around the 0.0013 to two dollar mark and after seeing the formation of a higher edge to have count two whatever we expect next is a bit of a bounce to the upside in the formation of a higher edge to have count three and that is my long-term scenario that i'm expecting to play out here on the lunar chart and sketching out a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three using the trend based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging my fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 0.001 dollar mark and in case lunak continues to push even higher in the formation of that with three there are chances that lunak will be able to lose one zero and make it back to around the 0.01 dollar mark and removing the edu to structures that is the fibonacci and getting to the short term scenarios that can play out over here after seeing the formation of a higher edu to count two and expecting uh, the formation of this higher edu to count Three, which is an impulsive wave we also expect to see fractal waves in formation within that wave three for us to confirm that we're in, in the formation of our wave three which is also impulsive we expect such a here on this chart i can give you the short term scenarios that can play out here on the lunak chart basing my analysis on this channel that we have right here and you can see uh, lunak uh, has been trading within this channel and you have managed to break out of the channel to the lower side and that is after losing the 20 day ma which was acting as support and after losing the 20 day ma we have continued pushing even lower and we have managed to break out of the channel to the lower side and there are chances that in case we see a retest of the lower side of the channel over here there are chances of continuing to push even lower and my next target area will be back at around the 0.00014 dollar mark and that would be making it a little bit risky because uh, there are chances of still making a new low in the formation of that higher edu to have count two in the formation of this wave c so in case we make a new low once we see a retest of the lower side of the channel then i'll have to term that new low as the low for that uh, abc corrective structure and also the law for that higher edit wave count two and then from there we can expect another bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave three there are also chances that as we try to have the retest of the lower side of the channel we can manage to get back into the channel once more manage to break above the 20 day ma continue pushing higher to the upper side of the channel and in case we manage to break out of the channel to the upside and also see a retest of the upper side of the channel there are chances of continuing to push even higher and that could give lunak some impulsive nature to the upside in the formation of that higher edge to have count three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated on that also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the rsi on the rsi we are trading at around the 35 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side and also to the lower side also taking a look at the macd on the macd you have printed a bearish cross and we are also seeing an increase in the selling momentum and that would mean lower prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated 